Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing today. So in today's video, we're gonna do a little Sephora haul because I recently went to Sephora and picked up some goodies. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show y'all all the things that I got. Shout out to Sephora for sponsoring today's video and helping us keep these YouTube lights on. We greatly appreciate it over here. Of course, y'all know how I do. Everything I discuss in this video will be linked in the description box for you all to shop these items or any other items that you may possibly want to shop at Sephora. All of these items are available at Sephora and also Sephora.com. And also, if you have not already, make sure that you sign up for Sephora's Beauty Insider program. So basically the way it works is the more you spend, the more points you get, the more perks you get. And you also get like a birthday gift, all that kind of stuff. And there are different tiers depending on how much you spend in a year. So you can either be a Rogue member, a VIB member, or an insider. And let's get into these goodies because i got so much good stuff all right let's get into it getting into skincare and body care the first thing that i picked up are the sephora cotton pads they look like this and when i say the girls across youtube TikTok, instagram all the girlies they rave about these cotton pads and i've never tried them before so i'm very excited to try them just to like remove my makeup clean my hairline whenever I'm wearing makeup and like getting edge control and things like that out. So I'm super excited to try these out. And I have a feeling these are gonna be my new cotton pads. I just have a feeling. The next thing that I picked up is this Sephora facial cleansing pad. This is what it looks like. Flexible silicone with dual textured surface for a deep clean and gentle massaging of the face. And I got this because sometimes I feel like my hands by themselves don't give me just like the deepest clean, especially when I'm on days when I'm removing makeup. So I got this just to kind of like be able to get a little deeper into my pores and just give me a more thorough clean to get literally all my makeup off so that my pores aren't like feeling clogged or anything like that. So this is what it looks like. And it has this little handle on the back where you can hold it like that. And then this is what it looks like up close. So essentially you just kind of, you know, it's soft. This thing is very soft. I'm excited to try this out. The next item that I picked up is this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is another, I feel like Sephora favorite, Sephora item that so many people talk about and rave about. So I picked it up just because I don't, I feel like my skin has been feeling very dull and dry lately. So I've been looking for a moisturizer that just has a little bit more oomph, you know, like ingredients that will really infuse more moisture into my skin, improve my skin barrier, all that kind of stuff. I just picked it up because I want to try it. I want to see what the hype is about. The packaging is gorgeous. Like, look at this. I feel like Tatcha has some of the best packaging, literally just like ever. It smells really good. It's, oh, what is that? It smells like something, like a push pop. It smells very, like a little sweet. And we might as well continue with face. So I got a couple lip products as well. So first and foremost, my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, y'all know. I can't do my nighttime routine without this. Like this is just the icing on the cake of my nighttime routine. I finish it off with this and my lips are so moisturized. And literally when I wake up, my lips are still moisturized. So I just like the regular, I don't, what flavor is this? Is this, this flavor right here? Whatever you call this pink one, this is the one that I really like. And I like this one so much that I actually started using their glowy lip balm during the day. So I keep, I always keep one of these in my purse, in my bag, whatever I'm carrying for the day. And this is like my daily lip gloss or lip moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. It's basically just a lip gloss, lip balm version of the night sleeping mask another one of those staple products that like i always like to buy re-up on have a backup of so that i literally never run out and then i picked up this other lip product right here this is the pharmacy 
honey vanilla lip smoothie and it has vitamin C and peptide in it and it's like a little lip balm so this is so this is what that looks like and I'm just a sucker for a good lip product I just like my lips to be moisturized at all times like I can't you won't catch me out here slipping with crusty lips. You just, you won't. I love pharmacy products because my skin tends to be very sensitive and pharmacy products literally never break me out. So I really wanted to try this just to see what it's about. When I say this stuff smells so good, it literally smells like honey from a honeycomb. All right, so that's really it for like facial skincare. Now let's get into some body care. The first thing that I picked up is this Way Scalp and Body Scrub, but this is the St. Bart's version. I have used the original version before. I have gone through a couple tubs of that. I love it so much. It just makes my shower experience feel so much more luxurious because of the fragrance, the smell, the feel, all the things. And I've been wanting to try this St. Bart's version for a while. And when I tell y'all, this thing literally smells like an island. It smell, it's vacation in a bottle. So I wanted to get this version now because it's starting to get like a tinge warm in Atlanta. Just like a tinge, just a little bit warm. So as we approach like summer and spring, I just want something that makes me feel like I'm on vacation and feel tropical in the shower. So I picked this version up and it smells so good. I'm gonna need to get a travel version so that whenever I'm on vacation, I can take this on vacation. Oh my gosh, it literally smells so good i so good next i picked up this fenty what is this called the butter drop if y'all watch my vlogs y'all know during the holiday season i got the i think it was like the cinnamon version of it it was whatever limited edition holiday variant of this one and i don't think i ever gave y'all an update on how much i liked that one but when i say this is probably the best consistency of a body lotion or body butter that I have ever used in my life. Like it's thick, but not too thick. It's moisturizing, not oily, like literally perfection in a bottle. So I wanted to pick this one up just because the cinnamon is good for like fall, winter, but for spring, summer, and as it starts to get warmer here, I wanted something a little bit more like light and fresh and airy and springy. So I feel like that's what this version is, which is just like the original version. Yeah, it just has a very light, fresh fragrance. Also, smells so good. If you've never tried the Fenty Butter Drop, do yourself a favor, buy it just once, just try it out. And I promise, you're gonna keep buying it, it's so good. And then last for skincare, I picked up these two hand sanitizers. So I picked up two, I got the sandalwood, or what is this, blue sandalwood. And I also, I can't smell it from there, but I got the blue sandalwood and then I also got the rainwater. So this is just what they look like in the pack and this is what they look like out of the pack so this one right here is the blue sandalwood and then this one is the rainwater and they're so cute they're i guess they're supposed to be more moisturizing than a normal sanitizer i'm gonna try i guess i'm gonna try the sandal the blue sandalwood because i love me the smell of sandalwood love the smell of sandalwood Oh, oh, that's, oh, that smells good. That smells really good. I don't wanna spray the rainwater on top of it and mix it up, so I can't, I can't really smell that one, but, oh, 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 that smells good. And then lastly, for like body, skin, all the things that are not makeup related, I picked up this Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. I will say it's a little small, so I hope a, a little goes a long way. That's what I'm thinking. At least I'm gonna use it sparingly, because again, look, look at the size of this thing. It's a little small, so it says it reduces frizz and flyaways, which I need. Extends color and renews vibrancy. I don't really need that because I don't color my hair. Heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. 
that's the one right there that is the one i need um shortens drying time softens and detangles nice no residue color safe vegan alcohol free love that i'm super excited to try that out so that was really it for skin hair body let's get into a little bit of makeup the first thing that i picked up was the one size secure the glow this is a tacky hydrating primer this is what the packaging looks like and i got this because i don't know i feel like some primers make your skin super matte and for warmer months i want that like glowy skin look so i think this will really help with that i want to say this is a new part of their line or a new part of their range i could be wrong but i do think that this is a newer product and it has oh, this is such a pretty product look at this this is so pretty it has like little boba bubbles in it how stinking cool and cute is that i'm gonna do a little pump test Oh yeah, this feels, this feels very hydrating. But yeah, as you, oh wow, I like this. As you rub it in, your skin looks more moisturized, but you can still feel the tackiness of it. So it feels like my makeup will definitely stick to it. I really like a lot of one size products. Um, Actually, I'm not sure if there's a one size product that I've used that I didn't like. I haven't used all their products, but of the ones that I've used, I've really liked them. What else did I pick up? Um, oh, this. I picked up this Ami. <laughs> Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce this name for nothing. I have struggled in every video, but it is one of my favorite brands. And of course, it's black owned. But I picked up their lip treatment oil in this red color called smitten when i say this stuff looks so good on my complexion girl it looks like this so it's like a reddish tint i'm considering this more to be makeup just because it is tinted although i guess technically it could be considered just like a regular lip gloss or lip balm or something like that but yeah picked this up love that color can't wait to wear it and keeping with the themes of red, I also picked up this Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush in the color Grateful. I'm just put a little, little bit on my hand, a little bit on my hand, and let's see what it looks like. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to wear this color. And then I also picked up this other blush from NARS because I've heard people rip and rave about NARS blushes and how pigmented they are. And I've never had a NARS blush before, so I wanted to try this one out. And in addition to more of like this reddish color, I also wanted a new like super pinky bright color. And if I can figure out how to open it, first off, this packaging feels very nice. Can we take the film off? Yes, there we go, there we go. Um, so this is what that torrid pigment looks like. As you can see, it's very pink. I'm just on this super pigmented blush kick right now. Like I love a bright blush on my like deeper, darker skin tone. It's just something about it that's just so beautiful to me. And then my last few products are lip products, so girl. I have been trying to figure out the perfect pinky nude lip combo and I think I have kind of figured it out or at least I picked these up and I think that these these may do the trick. The first thing that I picked up for my nudie pink lip experimentation is this Sephora lip liner and it is in the color molasses. I saw someone on TikTok use this uh, color and it was really, really, really pretty. So yeah, it's in the color molasses. And let's do a little swatch real quick. It's like a nice deep brown color. This is what it looks like, like that. So very beautiful. I actually can't wait to try this out. So I picked this up as a lip liner and then I picked up three shades of like pinky peachy nude color. So the first thing I picked up was this Sephora lipstick and this is in the color L22. 
So this is what that looks like. And then I picked up these two Anastasia Beverly Hill lip glosses. If you know me, you know, I'm not like a super matte lipstick type of person. Like even the Sephora one, it's not like a super matte formula. It's very hydrating and moisturizing, if you will. I just, again, I hate a chap lip. I just, I'm not a chap lip type of person. So even when it comes to my lipsticks, it needs to be moisturizing, not super matte and drying. One of them is guava and the other one is in latte. And this is what they look like. So the guava one is the more pinky color and the latte is more of like a brown color. So y'all can kind of see the difference between the two. So yeah, pick those up to hopefully be able to achieve my new signature lip. That's all your girl got. That's all your girl got. I have a receipt that shows everything that I purchased and you know, tis a long list. Again, thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. As usual, everything that I discussed will be linked in the description box below for you to shop these products and more. You can shop them at Sephora or sephora.com and make sure that you sign up for Sephora's Beauty Insider program, and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.